What is going on, YouTube fan? It's your boy Tony Two Times, and we back with another episode of Hood Tales, man. Before I start, be sure to like, comment, share. Definitely watch the video to the end. Let's get right into it. Nowadays in the streets, you gotta be careful who you trust. A smile and handshake can be a front for a plot for everything you got, or worse, for your life. The whole backdoor sign has become glorified now. People think it's cool to cross out the same people you hang with every day or make money with. And in a lot of situations involving females, it gets tricky when men beef over a woman and pit their trust in her. It might end up in her figuring out who she is more loyal to and setting the other one up. And on this episode of Hood Tales, we will take it to Youngstown, Ohio and discuss the case of Terrell Martin and Lyric Moore that left another man, Zachary Howe, gone. The situation would take place in 2017, according to sources. Zachary was passing out flyers in the Ohio neighborhood, allegedly thinking about running for mayor and pushing his campaign. Somewhere in the mix, Zachary at the time met then 21-year-old Lyric Moore. The two became friends and would hang out at times, building a bomb. But Lyric also had another man in her life, 37-year-old Terrell Martin, who some alleged might have been in a romantic relationship with Lyric. But Zachary, not thinking nothing of it, or probably didn't know at all, would get closer to the young lady and eventually and start inviting her into his home. With Lyric alleged and later testimonies, they would just chill and talk as friends do. But a dark plot twist would start to happen. When Terrell realized how close the two had become, Terrell would start plotting on the way to finesse Zachary through the help of Lyric. And one night when she was at Zach's house, he would text her asking did he live alone, did he have a blicky, the address, and everything. Trying to pull his move, but Lyric knowing what the questions were leading up to, she did not respond the first time to Terrell. But according to sources, one night while she was at Zach's home again, Terrell would hear her phone again asking the same questions. This time she responded, letting him know the location, what was in the home, and the two was alone. Zachary was in the dark about the plot, just going with the flow. But sometimes during that night, Terrell gained access to Zachary's home, allegedly taking things, then with a blicky in hand, forcing Zachary to start up his truck, where Terrell would allegedly hit 40-year-old Zachary with two shots to the head, leaving him gone before taking the truck and body and torching it behind the house on Edgar Street and Josephine Avenue, east of Youngstown. As authorities located the vehicle, it was also a charred body as well. And as they investigated the scene, they also found the cell phone belonging to a young woman. It would eventually be linked to Lyric Moore. As police found text and DNA, they arrested Lyric and Terrell. Locked up with no bail, the trial would start a few years later. The state was claiming that Lyric set up the whole situation by giving information and the text but some people looked at it as a young woman manipulated by an older man who she was scared of, pointing out she didn't respond to the first attempt by Terrell, but was scared and complied with the second attempt on Zachary, not realizing it would cost him his life. With all the evidence, Terrell would be sentenced to 18 years to life in prison for the robbery and hit, but Larry's attorneys fought hard for her and the young lady would turn down the offer of 25 years for manslaughter and make out with just a 15 year sentence for her alleged role in the situation. Zachary's family did not appreciate the sentencing, stating she was just as responsible, if not more, as Terrell, but the verdict was upheld. It's a sad situation. Revel is a love triangle fueled by jealousy or an older man manipulating a young girl to do his dirty work. It happens all over the world. Be careful who you trust and let in your world or home. Read between the smiles. It could be all fate. Rest in peace to Zachary. I send my prayers and condolences to his family. More of this story, we are all human and want friends and loved ones in our life. Just make sure the same people feel the same about you and are not plotting on your downfall. It's a wicked world we are living in. So always keep your eyes open and remember, we got to succeed not to fail. So you won't be just another hood tale. Man, crazy story, you feel me? Rest in peace, Zachary. You know what I mean? You see bro right there, 
going through the neighborhood, trying to, you know, get his votes, you know what I mean, for his campaign, trying to do some positive things. It's real messed up because the young lady, like I said, she was young. So a lot of people were saying she was manipulated. You feel me? Like dude was 37, you know what I mean, Terrell, and she was only 21. So, you know, a lot of times if they was in a romantic relationship, some people say they don't know, but some people say they was. That's a big age gap, you feel me? And a lot of dudes, they like keeping young girls around to set dudes up or do they dirty work because they know they can easily scare them or manipulate them, you feel me? Like an older woman going to be like, no, nah, I'm not going to jail for nobody. But at the end of the day, man, it's messed up on both ends because even if she just felt like, okay, I'm going to tell them the address and tell them we ain't here by ourselves and he just gonna come and rob the house, you feel me? You never know what somebody gonna do in that situation, you know what I mean? He probably ain't tell her. I kinda believe that. So, you know, for her getting 15 years, I know Zachary family wasn't feeling that, but at the end of the day, they probably did that because they probably felt like him being that much older and him not telling her the full scope of what he was about to do, he was more the mastermind of the situation. You feel me? But it's crazy, man. You know what I mean? Dude trusted her. You feel me? Zachary trusted her. Obviously, he had her at his home and stuff like that. Just got to be careful out here, you know? A lot of people try to think with their heart, you know, but sometimes your heart can lead you wrong. Sometimes you got to think with your head, think outside the box. You got to pay attention to signs. If somebody chilling at your crib and they texting, ain't nothing wrong with being like, who you texting? You feel me? At the end of the day, sometimes you might even got to grab the phone, especially... If y'all not family, like close family, you don't know this person like that, you just meeting them, cause anything can go left. And sometimes we might not think we got nothing that somebody want, but it's wicked out here. And we might be thinking we struggling, but the next person might not even have what you have. So in they eyes, they looking at it like, well, you got more than me, and they'll get you for that. And it might have been jealousy too, like I said, he probably wasn't feeling the fact that Lyric was kicking it with Zachary, you feel me? So Terrell probably got in his mind, like, I'm going to get dude out of that. Either way, man, messed up. But y'all already know, man, it be like that out here. Crazy situation, though, you feel me? Because it seemed like dude had his head on right, trying to do the right things, help the community, going through the community, trying to make a difference. But yeah, man, the young lady, she got a second chance of life. That's a blessing. But... Yeah, that's the situation. But y'all already know, man. This is another episode of Hood Tales. Be sure to like, comment, share. This your boy Tony Two Times. Layoff fam, I'm out.